tubes have the ability to mimic a variety of bottom dwelling forage. I've found a unique way to rig smaller tubes that best mimics a crayfish on the defensive, a posture that elicits strikes from bass that are not actively feeding. Okay, I'm here uh, with, with Darrell Black, outdoor writer on, uh, on some of his local water, French Creek. We're doing a kayak fishing trip. I wanted to kind of go over um, a, a unique rigging of a tube that I've, I've started doing. <clears throat> to start with a smaller profile tube. Zoom in on this. This is a, a two and a half inch tube made by Hoghead Baits. Uh, this one is, is what I was doing raw, raw with two days ago on uh, Pretty Boy Reservoir down in Maryland. Hit a hoghead baits tube rigged backwards. That one was, I think, a dark melon and green pumpkin. Hey there. All right, put him back in. The smaller profile tube really, really does well. The way that I rig it is, is pretty unique. These are uh, these are actually slingshot pellets that I've poured with a, a do-it mold that I have. Uh, you can use egg sinkers too. These are quarter ounces. So I'll shove that up into the head there. And I like to have some sound. Especially we, we have a little bit of turbidity in the water. It's a little bit muddy today, so that extra sound is a good thing. I'll shove that down in there. And this thing's getting pretty pretty jam-packed. Believe it or not, I'm gonna cram some more stuff in there. This is a, a three-inch slop stick. Uh, three-inch soft plastic stick bait. And I just cut that in half. I always pre-rig these, but wanted to show show you folks how to how I rig it. I'm moving all these these tentacles out of the way. I just put a, a drop or two in there. I kind of work that in so it that that rattle will bond with the, the sides. And then I shove that in there. All right. And that's pretty much how it gets dragged. It, it comes across the bottom, you know, like that. And it kind of looks like a crayfish, you know, with its claws out to the side as it, as it kind of moves forward. Use a 2 aught to 4 aught extra wide gap hook. Go shallow when you get to the tube portion of the rigging. This tube color is one I designed for hoghead baits. It's called River Bottom and comes in two and a half, three and a quarter, and four inch sizes. It accurately matches the color of crayfish in most parts of the country. As you can see, the rig comes through the rocks with minimal snags. The defensive claw posture can be mimicked by gently raising and lowering the rod tip with a tube hinging on its head. Here are a few nice bass caught on the backwards rig tube. 